Welcome to TSS Associates Guide for the Bosch Green Star. Today, we'll show you how to troubleshoot an EA error code. Let's get started. If you are receiving an EA error code, there is no flame detected. To troubleshoot, you will need a multimeter, test leads, a gas manometer, and a combustion analyzer. First, check that the ground lead is properly connected and replace if defective. Then check that the gas cock is open. After, check the inlet gas supply and adjust as needed. Follow the chart shown for natural gas and propane. Then you will need to check the power supply. Make sure there is 120 volts AC powering the unit. Remove the electrodes and check for visual damage and replace if defective. With the boiler firing, make sure the electrodes are sparking. To test the flame sensor, place your leads in series with the flame sensor lead. You should read greater than 1 microamp. If the electrodes do not spark, replace the heatronic. If a flame gets established but you read less than 1 microamp, replace the electrodes. Check the venting for any blockages or defects and repair as needed. Follow the guidelines in the installation manual for proper venting installation. Next, check the gas air ratio using your combustion analyzer and correct if out of range. Follow the chart shown for natural gas and propane. Adjust low fire at the gas valve using an Allen wrench and adjust the mixture at the venturi using a flathead screwdriver. Follow the instructions in the installation manual for flue gas test. Make sure to check the venturi for blockages and replace the venturi or the gas valve if either is defective. Clean the condensate trap and remove the diaphragm at fan inlet connection and check for contamination or cracks. Replace the diaphragm if defective and set parameter 5.B in the first level service functions to 12. Check heat exchanger for soil and clean following the detailed instructions in the installation manual. Lastly, check the code plug. Make sure the correct numbered code plug is installed in the boiler. If it isn't, Insert the code plug correctly or replace if defective. Check chart 17.5 in the installation manual to determine the correct code plug for your application. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this training video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out. Like, share, and subscribe for more valuable content. Have a great day.